Hello and welcome to my guide to shell mechanics. This is just a quick newbie guide. A few disclaimers. Uh, all of this stuff is on the Watt Wiki, and this is recent up to patch 9.4. With some shells, I'm not showing weak spots. This is not a weak spot guide. AP shells or armor piercing shells are the standard type of shell in World of Tanks. They have average penetration, and when they penetrate, they will do full damage. When they fail to penetrate, they will bounce or ricochet and do no damage. They have 5 degrees of normalization, uh, which means they will mitigate 5 degrees of your enemy's angling. They will start to lose penetration over distance, particularly over 300 meters. The amount of penetration they lose over distance is related to shell velocity. And this in turn is affected by the size of the barrel and the size of the shell. For example, with the KV-2 gun, the 152mm will lose a lot of penetration over distance due to the short barrel length and the big shell size. So let's see AP use in action. First of all is the uh, Waffentrager uh, shooting against an IS-7. Um, try and clear that with its high pen, it can pen quite easily. However, at distance, it's going to struggle a bit, which you can see here. Uh, this is about uh, 300 meters. It will go through uh, spaced armor quite easily, um, particularly with higher pens like the Waffle Traeger. Um, even when someone side scraped, it can go through quite easily. However, it won't go through all the time. Uh, that was a zero damage pen, but that was it in an angle where it penned straight through. It also can be shot through walls and hit the target on the other side. Now that shell bounced, but it did go through a wall. When it goes through a wall, it does lose pen. The next shell we have in the game is APCR, which is a gold round on some tanks, and on tier 10 and some tier 9 mediums are standard shells. They have higher than normal penetration, up to 2 degrees of normalization, can be shot through a wall to hit a target behind and have the worst penetration drop off of all the shell types. Like with AP shells, they will either do full damage when they pen, or they'll do zero damage when they don't pen. Standard shells on some of the mediums, for example the FE402 which I'm using currently, do not lose as much pen over distance as the gold APCR rounds do. However, they still benefit from higher velocity. These next few clips will show how even side scrape tanks are vulnerable to APCR through spaced armor, such as tracks. Uh, right now, I'm shooting a side scrape to I7. However, good the APCR shells are, though, sometimes the I7 side scrape can be a bit of a troll. Um, so, there's never any guarantee of penning. Uh, this one is to show that you can still pen things that are slightly angled. Um, this is a ranged track shot uh, going for a side scrape to I7, uh, showing that, yeah, even the best tanks with APCR cannot pen the R7 if it's side scrape correctly. Unfortunately, I don't have a tank example of APCR in a non standard tank. Uh, that's going straight through the tracks. This is going straight through the wall. Heat shells now. These can be very difficult shell types to use. Um, if they pen, they will do full damage. Again, if they don't pen, they will do no damage. They have no normalization, so don't expect to pen the slopes of any tanks. However, they don't lose any pen over distance, so they're perfect sniping. Also, unlike the AP and APCR shells, they will not go through a wall and hit the target behind. Probably their best use is on big derp guns. They are a type of gold shell which are standard only on the T-49. Never ever use these shells on slopes or spaced armour. They won't go through. Now normally if an E100 is hold down, a T62A will struggle to pen it. With heat shells, it can pen straight through the turret cheeks. 
Now, um, this example is to show that you can't really pen an angle if it's got good armour. However, the side armour of the uh, turret on the 100 is actually quite thin, so the shell will go through. However, a little bit further down the turret, um, the angle becomes less perpendicular, so there's a higher chance of you bouncing it. Now, the E100 is probably the worst tank to use heat on uh, in regards to spaced armour. If you ever hit the tracks on the E100 with heat, you will never do damage. Even if you hit like the side bit above the tracks, you will never do damage. Heat shells can't go through walls either. And again, this is me trying to get the front wheel didn't go through, just tracked him. But then I get a good flat plate at the back and do a full pen. There's a reason why I left HE to last. Now HE is special. If you hit the target and you pen with HE, you'll do full damage as always, which incidentally is around 25% higher than any other shell type. But if you don't pen the tank, you'll still do an amount of damage, depending on the amount of pen of your HE shell and the amount of armour that you hit. HE shells do not go through walls, nor does it go through any kind of spaced armour whatsoever. And it has extremely low penetration. And there's more! There is another type of HE shell used only by RT, which have an increased splash radius up to around 15 meters for the T92. Let's see some HE in action now. Now, uh, first of all, I'm showing the uh, upper plate do 20 damage. That's what HE does. It will always do damage unless you hit the gun mantle, which makes it perfect for decap and hitting tanks are on 1%. Next, I hit a weak spot on the turret. I do 600 damage which is more than my uh, standard shells would do. Now uh, here I'm going to probably try and hit the lower plate and that does 200 damage, so that's about half the normal damage that I would do. Now uh, note that I do have a uh, reticle on my game that shows orange, red and green when I hover over with HE. Do pay attention to that. Orange will be a partial pen, red will be no damage, and green will be a full pen. That was again 430 damage. A little bit of a low roll, but that's, uh, that's about uh, where you need to be. I'm now going to shoot the back. Now, the weird thing is I only do 130 with this. Uh, the FV183 seems to be quite well armoured at the back. Now, um... If a piece of armour is thin enough, the HE will still do full alpha, even though it's an angle. Like I did 520 there. Right, next up, this is an IS-7 shooting at my object 263. He just shot my gun mantle, did no damage. He then tried to shoot a weak spot next to my gun. It actually took out my gun. Now, this is the key thing. Any open top vehicle will be obliterated by HE, such as a 263. He's hitting for me for 600 damage every shot. And RT will one shot this tank as a result of that, because RT uses HE. Now we get into Hess Shell, uh, which is basically the British Lions party piece. This is a 183. Hitting me for 1600 damage. The Waffentrager incidentally is one of the best tanks to use HE on. The turret is so weak. Now I'm in a, uh, I'm using Hesh in the FV4202 here. I did no damage, I shot the gun mantle which is incredibly strong. I'm going to shoot the upper plate, I only do 30 damage. Hesh has much higher pen than normal HE. But it's not stupidly OP. Don't expect to pen stuff from the front that you wouldn't with HE anyway. It's not going to work. Again, tracks, spaced armor, didn't do much. 
However, where it differs is that normal HE would not do that much damage on the back of an IS-7. And that's another side shot. When he turns and I shoot the back of his IS-7, you'll see that I do around 450 damage, which is more than my standard shells. Yep. Now Hesh will do that, HE won't in that tank. Now, uh, this was me and, uh, me and my mate were brawling, and he hits me with a HE shell in the side, doing 600 damage and setting me on fire, showing that the crits will happen a lot. A shot of HE going into a wall uh, doesn't go through. However, this, this is showing splash damage. So, my mate here, he fires at the wall, doesn't go through, but because he's got enough splash damage on that shell, it's damaging behind me behind the wall for quite a lot of damage. Be careful with Hesh though, you can splash kill yourself, like this guy did. Now on to Artie. This first shot is what Artie does without using gold. This is an object 261 by the way, so it's got around 3 meter splash radius originally, so it doesn't damage the IS-7. Although its next shot actually lands closer, it will splash him, uh, because it's got higher splash radius. And that's what the gold ammo in Arty does. And now uh, for a direct hit as Arty. Problem with some Arty is that HE comes in at such a flat trajectory, it doesn't do enough damage because it has too little pen. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe.